Hello gorgeous peeps, I'm Chris from Textbird and today we're going to be checking out ASUS's fresh new Pro Art Studio Book 16 laptop which boasts ASUS's very own exclusive Spatial Vision 3D technology. It's the world's first glasses-free 3D OLED laptop tech and I checked out a customised sample with the 30 series CPU and GPU disabled. So here's all of the hot goss and for more on the latest and greatest tech please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! So the ASUS ProArt Studio Book 16 is aimed primarily at creative pros, people who can make use of that 3D display for design work, although there's obvious entertainment opportunities as well. So first up, as with previous Studio Books, the design work is very smart indeed. You'll look every bit the professional when you're rocking this thing in the office down your local Costa. You certainly look a bit out of place in the local Spoonies, that's for sure. One of the only obvious design changes for this 2023 model is the positioning of the hinge. As you can see there, the lid hinge has been shunted forward towards the keyboard, so now you've got a proper jutting arse. This redesign apparently allows for improved heat dissipation, and it does look quite funky as well. And that screen does lie all the way flat, full 180 degree hinge. Around back you've got a couple of big old vents to help again expel all of that nasty hot air and as far as your I.O. ports are concerned no real changes there over the previous generation. You connect your power right here, you've got an HDMI port alongside that and you've also got yourself a bit of Ethernet action tucked away at the far edge. And over on the right edge you've got a Type-A USB port and two Type-C's both with Thunderbolt compatibility and then if we swing the laptop around you'll see you've got yourself a full-sized USB port, a headphone jack and an SD memory card slot. Anyhow, let's turn our attention now to the star of the show, the 16-inch 3.2K OLED display with a 16x10 aspect ratio. Now you'll notice that the Pro Art Studio Book 16 sports a dual camera array, both cameras housed here above that mighty display. These are used to track your eyes, but you've also got other tech packed in here, including lenticular lenses which are positioned in front of every sub-pixel of that display. Unfortunately, for obvious reasons, it's really difficult to demonstrate this groundbreaking 3D technology to you lovely folk at home. But I'm going to try my best all the same using this highly technical device here. First of all, let's just pop this out. There we go. And for anyone who's interested, we will actually be selling these later through the Techspert gift shop. Surprise your lover, makes an excellent Valentine's Day gift. So what we'll do is the camera lens will just poke straight through my gaping mouth hole, while the laptop's camera lenses focus on my doppelganger's cold, lifeless eyes. Is it really working? Probably not, but anyway, let me explain. When you sit in front of the ProArt Studio Book 16, you only have to wait a few seconds at most for that 3D effect to kick into life. Images leap right out at your face as well as sinking into that display. And you can also adjust the focal length at any point as well, just using a little slider like so, so those images don't feel like they're quite going to smack you right in the gob if you want a more subtle effect. The depth of those 3D visuals is mightily impressive for a glasses-free experience. You've got quite a wide viewing angle to work with as well. It doesn't start to bulk up until you get quite far to the left or the right edges and it'll even keep that 3D effect in place even if you're a meter or two away from that display. And in my experience so far there's been very little crosstalk between the left and the right eye so the image stays perfectly sharp, very little in the way of ghosting or blurring. The likes of Steam VR is supported by Spatial Vision and ASUS is even hoping that movie studios will start developing content expressly for this platform. In fact, they're apparently even tapping up Mr. Cameron about the possibility of getting a Spatial Vision version of Avatar 2 on the go. And 3D content can be retroactively fitted to work with Spatial Vision, but it's not quite as impressive an effect as stuff that's actually designed to work with it. And when you are enjoying some 3D content, you can at any point toggle it between 3D and 2D, at which point the panel just acts exactly like a standard OLED display. And what an absolutely gorgeous display it is as well. You've got a 3200 by 2000 pixel resolution finish here. So nice, crisp, detail packed images. And as you'd expect from an OLED panel, deep blacks, accurate color reproduction, full HDR support here as well. Thanks for that nice sharp contrast. And it maxes out at 120 hertz as well. So ideal for creative content, good bit of gaming, all that good stuff. This 2023 model of the ProArt Studio Book 16 also sports a larger 16x10 aspect ratio touchpad to match that screen. And as you can see, this now comes with integrated mouse buttons as well, rather than separate efforts. But you've got haptic feedbacks, so you know exactly when you are pushing on those. And you've also got MPP 2.0 stylus support on that touchpad if you want to get all sketchy. 
And yes, that glorious Isu dial is also back in action as well. Mechanically, it hasn't changed at all over the previous generation. You can still twiddle and poke as merrily as you like. And this can be used to control pretty much all of your favorite apps now as well. So for instance, you can use it for the media controls. Or if you browse on the internet, you can even use it to cycle through all of your open tabs or jump directly into your favorite tab. You can even use it, for instance, to control individual features here on YouTube. So you can skim through a timeline, you can change the playback speed. And ASUS has also updated the Pro Art Creator Hub, which basically acts like a massive control panel and got even more functionality packed in there than ever before. The main dashboard can be used to keep tabs on all of the laptop's resources and also cycle through the various performance modes. You can also quickly and easily identify any color, including the Pantone value. And it's inside of the Creator Hub where you can also fully customize that ASUS dial. As for the specs, well, we can't go into too many details because of various embargoes, etc. But the ProArt Studio Book 16 2023 is powered by a 13th generation Intel chipset. As for the visuals, well, those are handled by a next generation NVIDIA GeForce RTX GPU, complete with a MUX switch so you can swap straight to it if you need a bit of extra graphical beef. You've also got yourself an improved cooling system, which increases the intake through that keyboard and ASUS has still fitted a good bit of liquid metal cooling for that CPU. And also, apparently, just to confuse matters that little bit more, ASUS is also going to be launching a ProArt StudioBook Pro model, which will come with a superior NVIDIA GPU, but it won't rock a 3D display. So if you need beefier graphics, you're not too bothered about those 3D effects, well, that might be the one to go for. Specs are rounded off by up to 64 gigs of DDR5 RAM, complete with a pair of upgradable SO DIMM slots. Plus you've got yourself up to eight terabytes of PCIe 4.0 SSD storage complete, again with a pair of M2 slots. So that right there in a lovely little nutshell is the fresh new ASUS ProArt StudioBook 16 rocking that innovative 3D tech courtesy of ASUS's spatial vision. It'd be great to hear your thoughts on this bad boy down in the comments below. Please do poke subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech and have yourselves a ruddy wonderful rest of the week. Cheers everyone, love you.